Hi, and welcome to this University Place Television special presentation on the Surf Drive Safe Routes to School Freedom Improvement Project. In this program, you'll see why these sidewalks and other improvements are impacting kids at Drum Intermediate School and throughout the community. Cirque Drive. It's one of the busiest streets in University Place. A lot of people don't like to slow down on Cirque. They're in a hurry, want to get to work. Cirque Drive is surrounded by businesses, homes, and schools, but has never been conducive to walking safely. We have Drum Intermediate School right over here, and we have Beckenridge, and there was no direct connections to link in between. Before, if someone just lived a block away, they're driving to the neighbor house. They're, they're not walking. With very few sidewalks on this mile and a half long stretch of road and limited crosswalks, the people who did walk would walk along the shoulder of the road next to cars and take their chances crossing the street. It was chaos. It was, it was crazy. For crossing guards at Drum Intermediate School, the busy time before and after school was stressful to say the least. I myself have been hit almost several times just um, crossing the kids because people don't pay attention. It was a little bit frightening as well as this street here. Um, people are on their way to work or on the way to get the kids. They kind of forget about the speed and forget about the safety of the surrounding areas. This busy intersection near Drum Intermediate School is the main crossing point for kids getting to and from the school. 79th and Cirque was always one of those concerns about kids crossing the intersection, crossing the street, or crossing guards who cross that street, walking out there, particularly in the mornings at 8 o'clock in the morning when it's dark out, and um, helping kids cross that street. It was one of the biggest concerns that we'd had about kids getting to school. Kids were concerned, too. It was just crowded and like it was hard to walk across the street and there was no crosswalks or anything. This hill on Cirque Drive was another area they worried about because cars driving at high speeds couldn't see what was on the other side of it, which was often someone walking in the shoulder of the road. It's a big hill so speeds are very fast on this street and so you know it really had a big combination for kind of unsafe conditions, especially when we had no sidewalks essentially for most of this stretch. The city had plans to make the street more pedestrian friendly, but with so much work needed on more than a mile and a half of road, finding the funding would be a challenge. It's a big stretch, a big need, so we had to go out and look for different sources of funds. The city reached out to the school and the community for input and applied for a Safe Routes to School grant to fund the needed improvements near the school very excited when I was approached with the idea of, of doing this grant. I said, absolutely, this is exactly what we need. What can we do to help? What can we do to support it? With more than a million dollars coming from that grant, the city looked for other sources of funds so they could extend the improvements along Cirque and connect the entire area by sidewalk. We also got a community development block grant that then filled in a gap of sidewalk between 79th up to Bridgeport. And then to round it all out, we were able to uh, wrap it up with a Federal Highway Administration Roadway Preservation Grant that will allow us to resurface this entire street from Bridgeport down to Grandview. And also we were able to widen a little bit to, so we could fully get our bike lanes that whole route. As the work began, the city kept the community informed about the process. They've come to several events that we've held here at DRUM and talked to families about the Safe Routes to Schools project and um, helped us work with families about how to navigate University Place on the sidewalks. I think it's actually inspired some more connection with the city and the school district. From sidewalks, ADA accessible curbs and gutters to bike lanes. The project quickly started to take shape and drivers started to take notice. As people are driving back and forth on Cirque, letting them know, hey, there's a school here, we need to make sure we're slowing down. When two fully signalized crosswalks were put in at the intersections of 79th and 83rd. Because of the hill and the speeds of traffic, it really wasn't safe to have just crosswalks crossing the street. 
but obviously people live on both sides of the street, so we need to get get across the street. School officials said they had an immediate impact. You know, the white shows people where the crosswalk is. The lights show the people that you need to slow down or you need to stop. So having the light up here is a bonus. It's really helpful. Also helping to slow cars down, planner strips. We've also added planner strip where we could have the room for it and the planner strip does a lot not only for aesthetics but also slows traffic down and also buffering the pedestrian so you feel safer walking down the street. And two speed radar signs along the street. I've noticed that people are slowing down. They are looking at what's going on and their surroundings. They're driving a little more cautiously. 49 energy efficient LED lights were installed along Cirque Drive between Bridgeport and Grandview Drive to help drivers and pedestrians see where they were going. They really glow well at night and they really light up both the street, but especially the pedestrian bicycle areas as well. When the project was complete, <laughs> students and teachers at Drum Intermediate celebrated with a ribbon cutting to commemorate the occasion. And kids celebrated their newfound freedom to walk and bike around their neighborhood. I can walk to people's houses with my friends, you know, I really wasn't comfortable allowing the kids to walk to school or to friends' houses or parks just because um, it seemed unsafe. But now with the new sidewalks, I'm real excited that they'll have the opportunity to do that. The sidewalk project connects to other sidewalks on Grandview Drive and Bridgeport, giving people more ways to navigate the city by foot and by bike. I'm really excited every time I see an additional mile because I know just how much more that means than just the cement that, that we're walking on. Just more than just the concept of going from one place to another because it's about how people live in the community. It increases their livability. The mile and a half long stretch of sidewalks and bike lanes have opened a whole new world for people living in the community. We can visit Cirque Park or Kobayashi or down to Chambers Bay. They're all within walking distance now that we have the sidewalks. Brings our neighborhoods back together, I've seen. With our sidewalks, people are out walking. You're meeting your neighbors more, harkening back to the olden days where you're becoming a little tighter community with every piece of sidewalk we're doing. And since the sidewalks connect to a network of more than 25 miles of sidewalks throughout the city, residents can now walk from one end of town to the other safely. Now coming up on our uh, 20th anniversary of being a city, we have sidewalks that now span from the Hannah Pierce area of University Place continuously all the way to Grandview and 19 and back over to Bridgeport and 67. So each corner of the city you can now walk continuously on sidewalk, which is really amazing. Stay safe after school! We hope you've enjoyed this special presentation. For more stories about your city, check out the city's website at cityofup.com. Thanks for joining us.